I don't know how to pronounce it. Politza. Politza? Politza. Are they Italian? I think they're French. No. I'm not sure. Okay. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What's up, guys? Welcome to JPMP. I'm Justin. I mean, <laughs> it's been a long recording session. I'm Justin. I'm Annie. And uh, we're going to be listening to Polisa. Uh, this, this is actually, uh, it's not a request, but I know my, my buddy Brian Velasquez is going to like this because he loves Polisa. So, um, shout out to Brian. Shout out to Brian Velasquez. This is Polisa Wandering Star. Get, get the lyrics. Oh, my bad. That's why I had you do it. Well, look, you told me to plug it in. I told it you don't to plug it don't reach. What do you mean? What do you see right there? Well, don't you want to see it? It's no. Well, good. Stay out of my space. This All is right. the line. Get over there. Playing the song. So far, it's an, it's an interesting it, atmosphere vocally and, and musically. I do like the bass that comes in every once in a while. Do, very, it's interesting very, so far. It's interesting. What kind of genre would you say this is? It's like indie tronica, like indie electronica, folky, alternative indie electro pop. Yeah, so indie tronica. Um, it's an interesting song. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like you have to be in a certain mood, place. Not necessarily. You just have to have a certain palette for this f sort of thing, because. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on in there that I can hear, but, I mean, if you're just trying to, you know, listen to music, I, I don't feel like it would grab your attention right away. I, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how I'm explaining it right. It, it was very good. I enjoy that because mm -hmm. I can hear what's going on as far as the, the, the two drum sets that they have in there and, and the fact that they have um, lots of swelling and, and what they're doing with her voice. Like... Mm -hmm and how her voice reverbs off the last word that she says and it just continues right. and it just <clears throat> gives it this air. I do like that it wasn't um, so open throughout that they would cut out certain things mm -hmm. that you just heard the voice and like some of the bass mm -hmm. and a little bit of the drums. Everything was just kind of meshed together. Yeah. Um, it was meshed together in certain, like more so than other places but then it ended up becoming more... Um, more uh, what's the word? There was less space involved. I think five minutes is too long. Yeah, for this type of stuff, I think it just ran a little bit too long. I think it would have been great at three minutes. Mm -hmm. See, that's a weird thing for me because I agree and disagree at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because for this song, which didn't really feature many changes to it, I feel like this is an atmosphere song, so it needs to be a little longer because it's establishing an atmosphere. Mm -hmm. For a song like this, where there's not really much changing, yeah. if it was short, it'd be like, oh well, well why bother? Right. You know, it's like you had a cool groove, but you only did it for a little while. Right. So I kind of, I think I kind of understand where they're coming from, where they made it a little longer song because there was an atmosphere there, mm -hmm. there. And if you enjoyed it, you wanted to hear more of it. I did like the atmosphere, but I do feel that it went on too long or that it didn't transition to anything else to move that song into another, in another place. Yeah. I do like it, but I do wish that there was something else going on in it. Yeah, a little bit more. You know, a little bit more, but it's a great song. I, I like the, uh, I love the bass work that comes in. 
I like the drumming, especially when it breaks and it goes into like the jazz, I don't know if they're brushes or whatever it's doing in there. Like, for an atmospheric song like this, you're not going to add a ton of transitions or anything like that because it's just building a mood. Right. So I understand that. But for the sake of my attention and my review and my thoughts on it, I would have liked to see a little more going on. And there were subtle changes. Yeah, look. It's one of like these weird paradiddle things. Like listening to this version, the live mm -hmm. version, we kind of switched really quick just to hear some things. Sorry. Um, like I actually like her voice with less reverb as it is now. I think yeah, that was one thing. That was a stylistic choice. Um, I think it, production wise within that song, I think it was there's too and I love reverb, um, too much reverb. Should have kept it how it was here. Like I'm gonna listen to it again. Sorry. I think that's cool. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. She's got a good voice. That's why. I think if it was, I think if it was a change between like a regular kind of singing and then with more reverb to like yeah, change atmosphere but yeah, still keep it, yeah, yeah. I think that would have worked better for me personally. So I think song structure wise, it could have been a bit, a bit more. There's a lot of changes happening. There are a lot mm -hmm. of interesting things going on, but I feel like it was muffled. Like if you enjoyed this groove, you would like you would like five minutes of it because you only get subtle changes that don't change the, the bass overall is the best, mood. The bass is the best thing about. I this. love the bass in it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. But just for me, and I really I did like the atmosphere they have. I'm not hating on this band at all because I really did enjoy the atmosphere. And that they're different they than did. most bands would would do it. Like they would take a mm -hmm. risk in, in a sense, putting that much like reverb and mm -hmm. introducing those. I don't know if it's a risk, but I don't know. I don't see a lot of bands mm -hmm. doing that. Lyrics were, I thought the lyrics were great. Um, a I very like, sad song. Yeah, I would have liked to, the reverb kind of distracted me a little bit from the lyrics. That's the thing. It so was that, a little much. So that if I didn't have them in front of me, it would be hard for me to kind of understand. understand. And because I feel the lyrics are so good, I'd want to understand but them. here she sounds off. Hang on. Clear voice. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, the lyrics are great. I think the chorus is good. After all, I married a, a wandering star. Um, I was, I, it was full, and I fell in love with thee. But now the world turns around me, turns around me. My interpretation, and from what I've read of the other lyrics, almost like she's lost something, either like her husband or a son or like a child or something like that. And she had all this happiness, like of uh. uh. <laughs> Actually, I, I kind of take back what I said. Um, like her husband, and then he died or whatever. And then that's why he, she married a wandering star, um, or he left, whatever. I and feel now like... the world turns around me. So like all this is around me. And I say that because when the day is done and I lay me down, this sheet's so cold and your place is dark. You know? So it's almost like she's missing something now because the sheet's cold. The place that this person was is dark now. It's not there anymore. So that's what I kind of see. Lyr lyrically. But I like the lyrics. Yeah, I like the lyrics too. It's hard for me to get into like lyrical interpretation and stuff like that. Like that. I try. It drains me. How I, many I, have we done? How many, we've done like 12 of these videos already right now. It's been a bit. It's been, let's it's been see, a bit. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 straight hours. Jeez. I thought it was a great song. If I had to finally rate the song, I would give it a 3.5. I'd give it a 4. Because uh, it is above average, in my opinion, of songwriting, musicality, uh, song, everything, structure. Um, but I would have liked to see other things personally happening with it. I but this is enough to get me interested in the band to see what else they can do. Um, I give it a 6 out of 5, but it's like that 6, like, it's not having the best day. So it's more like a 4, and then, you know, you know, his cat got ran over. So it's more like Ooh, a Oh, that's three. a bad day. It's a bad day, but he's got, like, a lot of cats. So that <laughs> 6 is more like a 3. So 6 out of 5. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, share them, of course. Like and subscribe. And uh, hit the bell, as he oft says. Um, oft. And we will see you guys later. JPMP. Bye. <laughs>